sitting here in the dark because I want to show you the latest thing I've put on here. I got blue halos with spots and I've done blue underglow which will really look cool once I get the skirts on there and I don't have them I don't have the back ones hooked up it'll be between the back wheels but I think it's gonna look cool Also got Minimax put on the front of the semi. That's what I'm calling it, Minimax. The maximum of the mini. Then I also got carpet put in here. And the back part, getting ready to cover the seat. Going to start on doing some of the interior now. This is an alligator print, brown, that I got for the seat and the seat back. And then this is a brown. I got to go on a lot of the trim around the outside of it. So hopefully that'll look pretty good. I think they look good together. There's the seat all covered. Uh, the back is not installed yet. It's just laying in there. It goes up. Kind of like that. It's going to get some screws put in it. Still got to get a bunch more interior done on it. But that's kind of what the seat's going to look like. This could be scary. I don't know. Let's find out.
like so. Alright, now I'm going to cut some little notches out right here to get around the exhaust pipes. I'll do that next. Finally got the back door on there with the fan mounted in. I'm probably going to put me some kind of hydraulic thing on here to hold this hold this up where if I need to get in there to the motor to do some work. Uh, you see right there I have a blue light on there as well as one here in the frame and also one there in the frame that's the rest of my underglow lighting uh, the one in here will actually light up in the engine compartment through the fan so I think that'll be a pretty neat look so I'm wanting to put a standard ball type hitch on the back of this thing in conjunction with if I ever find a like a fifth wheel hitch or something that I can put on here on the back of it I'll put that on there but I'd like to just put just a regular ball hitch on the back of it for right now and uh, plus I need to build it on back because I'm wanting to put um, mud flaps and I need a place to mount my uh, tail lights turn signals that type stuff to it so these pieces right here are some pieces uh, my buddy Joseph found for me they're already made like that. They were from a piece of machinery packaging. And I've got two of them. And I've got an idea about what to do on it. I've got to take these back wheels and tires off anyway because they have to be cleaned up and painted. So I'm going to get the back tires off and show you what I'm going to do with these pieces. This is how the back end pieces are starting to look. I'll actually put the ball hitch on there. But that's the bottom piece, and then I'll have a piece over the top of it. I'll get it on here in just a little bit. A little further along on the back end. The ball will actually kind of be recessed behind there a little bit, under there a little bit. Then I'll have some pieces coming out of here, coming out of here that will hold mud flaps. And then I'm going to have a cover that goes across here, but I'm going to do a little special something with it to where I can keep access to everything under there real easy. This is how the back end turned out. Got the regular ball hitch on there. And I think I'm gonna mount the tail lights in there like that. Gotta make me some brackets to put them in there. I don't wanna put them up here, I don't think. I'm gonna put them right down here. And I gotta get pieces to slide out of here to hang my mud flaps on. So I'll see if I can find something for that.
Sorry about the shakiness, guys. Let me try and... That's better. 